I believe in being so honest with you that it could even hurt my reputation as a YouTuber who talks about hair loss. That's how honest I am with you. I'm going to tell you a story. I'm expecting this video to get dislikes, but I care more about being honest and real with you than I do not getting dislikes. And I care more about being honest with you than people being able to say that I'm a hypocrite. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. Hey, I'm a living hypocrite. I always will be. I'm not going to be perfect. I'm going to disappoint people. And I think this video is going to disappoint people. So here we go. True story. So as you all know, for about a hundred days now, I've been a stay at home dad. And what's happened though, what's interesting about that is when everyone knows that you no longer work full time in an office and they know, and I keep this in mind, you know, me as the hair loss guy, but I've got 10 years of HR skills. I'm a blogger, familyfriendlydaddyblog.com. I'm a blogger. I'm a writer. I'm an editor. I'm a creator. Forget about me doing videos. I write and I'm good at it. I was the official daddy blogger for parents magazine for three straight years. Okay. That's, that's a whole side of me that we don't talk about that you don't see, but just go there right now. Just familyfriendlydaddyblog.com. You'll see a whole website, a whole new world with me, right? Now keeping that in mind because of the rest of the world, the people who actually know me in real life know that about me now that they know that I don't have a job. Now opportunities are popping up to write on the side and make money on the side because of my writing skills, but also because of my skills to do videos, because I share my videos from my other channel, family friendly daddy blog, the YouTube channel, which is an extension of the blog. I share those videos because those aren't about hair loss. So just this week I met with someone I've known for a while, well over a decade, takes me out to lunch. And his Tesla, first time in a Tesla, man, those things are awesome. Have you ever been in one? Like we got in the Tesla. I'm like, oh yeah, I saw Anthony Bourdain drive this on that one episode of Parts Unknown. So we get in this all electric car. He's like, by the way, there's no fluids in this entire car except for the windshield wiper fluid. So there's no, there's no need for an oil change either. Like it's an electric car. So we get in this car. I'm like, okay, you can't hear anything. And then this is what it was like. <laughs> like what? We just did that. It is so powerful. So he takes me to lunch in the Tesla and he, he tells me about his business. That's doing very well that he started out of nowhere. He's that kind of genius and is talking to me about me in in the following months, potentially joining him and, you know, writing the articles for him and actually being kind of the face of his company as far as YouTube goes, because he's, he knows my abilities as a YouTuber. And so he's talking about me, me making the promos, me make, making the commercials, like the Verizon guy, you know, back when he was still doing, can you hear me now? Or, or does he, he says, can you hear me now, now? But he used to say, what does he say? Oh, did you hear that? You know, the Verizon guy, Paul. So basically the concept that I would kind of be that way for this company. So we're having this discussion. He's sitting across from me. He's a, he's how much, I don't know, like six or seven years older than me. And I would classify him as a strong Norwood three with diffuse thinning or, or vertex, however you want to call it. Like Joe McHale look before he got the hair transplant. Okay. So one of the things he said to me, he said, you know, I've tried doing the video promotions myself. I've tried doing that. He's like, it's not my thing. I'm, I'm, my job is to do all this other stuff. I need somebody like you. And then he said, Plus I don't have the hair. Okay. So let's process this. This is too much honesty. This makes me a hypocrite just for admitting this. He's in essence telling me that not only does he know that I have the skills for writing and the skills for making videos and the skills for being intriguing and engaging in videos with people, but I have the hair. All right. So do you see the problem there? Do you see already how people are going to start commenting right now, four and a half minutes into this video? They're going to say, Nick, that must put you in quite a pickle then, isn't it? For the guy who endorses, if you're just, just shave it off, just buzz it off. It's not part of your identity. Uh, just shave it off, Nick. And now here you are saying that you're being considered to be sort of a spokesman for this new company. And 
part of the reason that they're choosing you, part of the reason is because you have the hair? Yeah. You know, how do I sort that out? You know, how, how do I, out of one side of my mouth, by the way, January, the month of January that we're in, that's what it means. It means two faces. So how appropriate for me to be the hypocrite that I am. So out of one side of my mouth, I'm telling you, oh, you're losing your hair? You're... Norwood 3 Vertex or Norwood 4, just shave it off, man. It's not part of your identity. And then on the other side of my mouth, hey, I'm being considered for this video spokesman situation and I have, I have the hair. See, I'm sorting that out. And here's the biggest challenge about this as I'm psychologically sorting this out with my hair loss identity. And I, and I think this is going to be a theme of 2018 for me on this channel. Now that we all pretty much agree I misdiagnosed myself, no one truly believes I'm actually Norwood 3. Most people are saying Norwood 2.5 Vertex, Norwood 2.75 Vertex, but not true Norwood 3. And now that I've really looked at Norwood 3, what it is, I understand now how I'm not actually Norwood 3. So I had misdiagnosed my Norwood situation, and therefore I had misdiagnosed my identity. But what the weird part of it is, is like my soul had already been transported to Norwood 4. It was already there. Which is going to make it stranger too, if I'm going to do this thing about buzzing off my hair or shaving it, well, I don't want that to interfere with my ability to make money. Because ultimately, all of you know this, that know me well enough, I do these videos to make money. So, if I have to choose between <laughs> being a spokesman and that they want hair for and making some good money doing it, or making these videos, I would choose not to shave my head or buzz it off if they want me to have a certain look. And this is, this, this is, this was foreshadowed about a year ago. Robert said this, when Robert first heard murmurings about me being on TV for a lifetime, this time next year, February 20th, when my episode airs, that I had to have this hair all this time, this hairstyle to look like the guy in the suit package. So now I'll finally have the freedom after the show airs to have whatever hairstyle I want. And now this is happening. Well, you have the hair, Nick. I, I don't have the hair. You do. That's part of the look. You have that game show host about you, that game show host look about you. That's part of why you... Now, now in theory, in an alternate world, could I shave my head and have a beard and still be the host? I could be, because I would, in that case, I would have pre-established that that's my identity. But for right now, it's just like continuity. Continuity. I can't say that word. I have an English degree, and I can't say continuity. But it's just like with sitcoms, you know? Imagine if Ross Geller suddenly just buzzed off his hair. Or anybody just suddenly buzzed it off. It'd be weird. You want to pretty much kind of have the same thing going on. If this is part of my brand image, is looking this way having two and a half inches of hair on top of my head and I'm not losing it anytime soon. In essence, it makes me a hypocrite for suddenly switching my look and changing that. We'll see how things work out. I'm just telling you up front and being honest with you. There's a chance that what might happen is, the way the timing might happen, I'm saying maybe, is about the time my, air, my show finally airs, that other thing could work out for me to start working with the guy and then I start making videos. It'd be really weird if I suddenly just shave off my hair or have a buzz cut and then I'm growing out my hair. Like, if I'm going to start doing that, I need to pretty much have a, a set look, I feel, for it not to be distracting to the audience. Just like any spokesman. It'd be weird if they just suddenly just shaved off the hair if they, quote, didn't have to. Which, you know, it's like the episode of Seinfeld when it was Brian Cranston, I guess. He, the whole episode was he shaved his head even though he, quote, didn't have to. And now in his 60s is what? Still not even Norwood 3? He's kind of got the same hairline as I do at age 61 or whatever he is. So there's a lot going through my head about all this. There's whisperings of, Nick, the people watching your videos are going to say that you're a hypocrite because you've told them this whole thing, which I still believe. If that's you, follow your hairline. Follow your, your Norwood situation. Follow that. Make that part of who you are. But it's just, I have to personally deal with the fact that that's not who I am right now. And there's a good chance I'm still going to have most of my hair in my 40s, which for two years straight, or almost three years on this channel, it was all about me 
getting ready for Norwood four. So I'm, I'm dealing with all of that. I'm, here's what I'm dealing with. I'm not dealing with, I've got to prepare myself psychologically to lose my hair. Now it's Nick, you said that those years and you thought that's who you were. And you've been telling all these guys it's 3000 people now. And now that advice isn't what you need yourself. It's what some of them need. And so you have to, Nick, Nick, you have to look in the selfie cam and realize you're going to have your hair for a while and you need to rethink some things. And now you have a third party telling you that they're considering you to be a spokesman. And part of the reason is because you have your hair. Now, go ahead, get your tomatoes ready, get your stones ready, get ready to hurl, get ready to dislike this video because now it appears that I'm saying the opposite and I'm not. I'm saying if you're the guy that's losing your hair young, shave it off. Don't make it part of your identity. But at the same time, I'm, I'm, and I feel like I've always said this, just because you see the first signs of receding doesn't mean you just buzz it off. Man, I've always said manage with what you've got. And if it means that I'm almost 37 and still have this much hair, and maybe it's because I'm a vegan and maybe it's because I'm using rosemary. I don't know. Just know that I'm having to sort all of this out. It's important to me that I'm not seen as a hypocrite, but it's important to me that I help everybody on my channel wherever they're at. And I guess when I looked in my audience, if I saw myself in my own audience, I saw myself as the guy who's about to be Norwood for. And now I realize that's not who I am. So this is me being honest, trying to sort this out and trying to especially realize that someone who doesn't have the hair that I have likes that in me. And that's one of the bonuses of having me as a spokesman. We'll see in months to come. I don't know how this works. I hope it does work out. I want to work with a guy. I would love to be able to do that and that be my official job. That'd be awesome. So, and we still have to have the television special air, which someone had said, well, Nick, how could you have even had that opportunity if you didn't have hair? Exactly. I couldn't look like the guy in the Campbell soup package if I didn't at least have the hair I do now. But when it airs on February 20th on Lifetime this time next year, you'll get to see, uh, well, if I do end up meeting him, what is his hairline? And as a Norwood 2.5 Vertex, Will I be able to look like him in real life if I'm even able to meet him? So much is going on.